Um, so primarily we work, um, we do a lot of marketing um, that includes social media, um, earned media through newspapers and advertisements, um, as well as working with a lot of our state agencies in order to promote Noble County. Um, so in 2019, we went through a rebrand. Um, we rebranded as Visit Noble County, um, previously Noble County CVB. And along with that came um, targeted audiences for us. Um, we learned that our target audience is people aged 49 and up who are traveling um, without any kids. They're caring foodies, nature lovers, um, and they really just want to unwind and enjoy the quiet that Noble County has to offer. Luckily, that's come in handy now during the coronavirus. We've been able to really market on our outdoor recreational opportunities, um, staying socially distant at Chain Lake State Park, on the Noble Trail, kayaking, walking, whatever it may be. So those have really come into handy, um, especially now during this period. So uh, we work with Propeller Marketing out of Fishers, and they determine our brand um, slogan, Be Where Nature Rejuvenates You. So it's really the key theme for everything we've been doing over the last about year and a half. Hidden Ego Diamonds, Harry Stuff Brewing Co., The Alley um, are all partners now, and so we're really happy to have them on board, as well as some of our big wins that happened in 2019, which included Roberts Farm hosting over 20,000 visitors. Um, we're, we've seen an increase in Fashion Farm and Chain of Lake visitors about 5% year over year, and so that keeps growing, and we're really happy about that, and we're happy to be able to partner with them as they do continue to grow. Um, and then as far as social media, we've seen an increase in all of our followers and engagements over the last year and a half. Um, this has been a lot of work through organic advertising. We don't really do a lot of paid advertising on social media. We just kind of stay away from that. Um, but we have been able to publish 20 blogs that bring thousands of unique visitors to our website annually, um, as well as integrating some itineraries and our visitor guides for visitors to download and use those as they plan their trip. Um, as far as our economic impact of tourism, uh, when I came on board, I really didn't understand what tourism meant for Noble County's economy, but I've had the privilege of learning a lot. And Noble County is actually a $7 million industry, or tourism in Noble County is a $7 million industry, um, and that keeps going year over year. Uh, we collect innkeeper tax, so 5% of a visitor's stay in an overnight accommodation is what helps fund our office, and so that is what we get um, to help us advertise and market our destination. Um, and from some of the economic impact studies we've conducted, we've learned that visitors are interested in our historical locations, our outdoor recreational experiences, our wineries and breweries. And so we've been able to use that data and capitalize on it and help attract those visitors that are already kind of predetermined to come to Noble County for a vacation. this question. I, I know you talk about innkeeper taxes and I couldn't help, I noticed 
the other day I drove by what used to be the Holiday Inn is now the roadway. They are closed. Yes. How is they that? They are closed. You? Um, so we've had some interesting relationships with the owners of the Roadway Inn. Currently, right now, they are closed for renovations. They're trying to regain that Holiday Inn status. And so they'll be closed for a few months in order to upgrade their lobby, um, beds, and rooms. Uh, but our relationship with them has been really interesting. They have not reported innkeeper tax for about years. Um, and so we have had to take that to law enforcement a few times in order to kind of get that remitted. It's a work in progress, but we're really glad to have partners like the Best Western and our Airbnb and B&Bs that pay taxes um, and they really help support us. So the Airbnb platform collects the tax from the tenant. Um, so whoever stays pays a 5% tax. It, it costs nothing to um, the property owner. That's just what the, the stayer pays. Um, and then Airbnb remits that to the state who then remits that down to county levels. So it's been a little confusing at first. There was definitely some hiccups. We're only six months into the Airbnb um, remittance process, but starting to kind of work that out. And um, we, we've seen a good impact from them. We receive checks every six months from the state, from our Airbnb collection. And, and it does make a difference. I think at this point, every little bit helps. So I would ask, this is Jerry Jansen. I would ask, uh, how was the whole trail? What kind of excitement are you hearing through the visitor bureau with that? Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of engagement, not only with that attraction, but I think through hearing other CVBs, um, the things I hear the most is that they're a very um, aggressive group in getting things done, and that that's really aspirational to a lot of other trail organizations throughout the state, and so I get questions like, you know, how do they do it? How do they do it so quick? Um, you know, what, what kind of practices can we implement in order to make our trail system better? Um, so it's really encouraging to hear those things, but we've seen a lot of um, biking tourism come out of this. So a big community of bikers who want to come and, and go from city to city. And they're even, you know, connecting up to LaGrange County and seeing how they can hop off Noble, get to LaGrange. Um, so that's been a really big market for us. And we're hoping to better tap into the biking, um, hiking and walking market um, through this year. I just talked to... Uh... Had a conversation with Jerry Davis, and he's doing fine. He played golf today, so. Well, that's good to hear. It's a hot day to play golf. Yeah, but he didn't want. Doesn't want to join Zoom meetings. I, yeah, I have one. I, I, I want to thank Donna for an incredible year. And uh, it's going to, I'm really, really, I can't tell you how sorry I am to see her turn, turn this thing over to, to me. Uh, but don't expect it to be as, as cool or as much fun as it has been with Donna. And, uh, and I know that, that you'll all uh, join me in giving her a round of applause while you're just sitting. Applause. Woo! There we go. All right. Great yeah, job, Don. big. No, um, no, it wasn't me, guys. It was everybody. I mean, I, I couldn't have done it without every Rotarian out there. So, I mean, tons of support from you guys, tons of support from my board, tons of support from past presidents. So, it wasn't just me. It's it's a team. We're we're a village. We can do it. And um, I, I, I do need to know your hat size so that I can get the crown made oh, to the certain you know, to uh Just you know it has to fit properly right hey let me tell you something everybody gets scared 
If you're going to survive in this world, you just can't show it all the time, that's all. Yeah, but you never get scared. I know, that's why I'm the fun. <laughs>